YouTubers, Lamy WC Star Motioner here, and here I'm going to review Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Bludgeon. I've actually had this figure since like June, but I decided I was going to save him for kind of a dry week, and well it has been kind of a dry week because I haven't really had any figures to do, I haven't really had much news to cover, well I can say, rest in peace. Brian Goldner, the CEO of Hasbro. I'm very sad to hear about that. But here we have Bludgeon in his tank mode. And, you know, while not appearing in the movie, this is a really cool figure. Now, he did appear in the tie in comics, but I haven't really read those. Robot Kibble isn't too bad. Get a full rotation of the turret. Rolls okay. And you don't want him to exact. You wouldn't exactly want him to just go roaring by. Tanks aren't exactly speedy vehicles. Now, just as kind of a general tank size comparison, just here he is with Siege Megatron. Just see how he looks as another tank. So that's pretty cool. The rotation of this gun right here. You got these on the side, which I don't think really do anything other than bend because they're made out of a soft plastic. Got a Decepticon symbol there on the side. Some mismatching in the shades of color, but uh, what are you going to do? Overall, just a really cool tank mode. So for his transformation, the Revenge of the Fallen figure, his transformation is maybe a little more complex, but it's really not too bad, all things considered. Oh, what you want to do first, untab these treads here. Okay, then you just kind of unclip these right here. You fold this up. Put this into... Fold this up. Like this. Then you just kind of want to get these angled just right. I'm going to fold them. Oh, didn't see that. Okay, let's try that again. You take these, fold them like this. And then that'll kind of pop this part out. Okay. Then we can do the legs. Just kind of want to fold this up. Fold the feet out. And the heels down. Do the same thing on this side. Alright, that's the legs done. Now you just come up here to this top part, fold them down, and you just take this part and push it up. And that takes a lot of force. But that reveals his head. Then you can fold this part down. You 
take this, hold it down, hold it on his fist. Do the same on this side. You can fold this up. And that's basically Bludgeon's robot mode. And I do really like this robot mode. It's pretty kibbly, but it's still just really cool looking. Take a look at that head sculpt. See if we can focus more on it. That is a really cool looking head sculpt. Got a skull face with a samurai helmet. Skull face is just fitting for this time of year. Fat kibble isn't too bad. Of course you can take this part. Now this is a bit of a pain. Getting the sword into his hand, you kind of have to force it. And his thumbs, probably not very long for the world. And it is possible to have him, there we go, have him hold his sword with both hands. Just a little bit of maneuvering. I can't remember how to do it. It is possible though, which is something that very few Transformers can actually pull off. Yeah, take his katana out of his hand here. And you can just, right there, that little slot right there, you can tuck it in. And then he has another weapon. Pull this out. Reveal his wacky zashi. That's what these the smaller swords are called. That's what samurai used. The katanas were longer swords. And then there were the wacky zashis that were smaller, meant for short-range combat. That's probably like the biggest problem with this figure is getting his weapons mounted. There we go. So that's pretty cool. You can just store this back in here. Alright, so for his articulation, the head is on a swivel. He's moving around a little bit, but not really. Shoulders. For part of the transformation, you can do this. Rotate them almost all the way. Again, these skirt panels, that's what I'm going to call them, kind of get in the way. Get a fair bit of movement here. Rotation right here. And a double hinged elbow, that's always nice. And you can fold his hands in and out for the trans due to the transformation. And then legs, of course, are a little dip are a little more annoying. And you can kick him forward that far. And if you Manipulate this. It doesn't really matter. They can't go back very far. Rotation right here. There's a little bit of Mech Alive here where you see the these parts turning. So that's really cool. You can bend the knees. If you fold these up, that doesn't really affect anything either. And then feet, of course, got like this, and the little heel spur. No weight swivel, but overall, articulation on this guy is pretty darn good. So for just like, I guess, a general size comparison, here he is with a 
modern day Voyager. Yeah, he's pretty tall, but not by that much. First Blitzwing was actually a fairly sized Voyager, so. So, I think that pretty much covers Bludgeon. So I can go ahead and stick him on the display. All right, there's Bludgeon with my movie display. Now, as I get more Studio Series figures, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Bludgeon on, the dis on this display. Because, I mean, he's a great figure, but obviously he never appeared in any of the movies. So, I don't know. So, that's my review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Bludgeon. Overall, an awesome figure. I don't know if I really want to say go out and definitely get one since, again, he didn't appear in the movies. And this guy is tough to find. I was lucky to find him. So, I guess... If you are like me and do stumble on him for a good price, yeah, go. you should consider getting him. He's a pretty awesome figure. So, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.